Building Science Summer Camp. If you haven't been, that's okay, because we're delivering it to you. We're standing in front of something we love very well, right? Nice backdrop. I'm here with Jason, and he's with Timber HP, and there's a lot of congratulations that needs to be done, because North America is something we're all gonna love. I can touch this. I can feel how good it's gonna be. Tell the folks who you are and why we're so excited. Well, I'm uh, Jason Todd, Director of Building Science and Industry Support with Timber HP. We're the first dry process wood fiber manufacturer in North America. Uh, you're holding some samples of a bat product and board product that will be rolling out by the end of this year. We have um, a loose fill product that we're not holding. It's a little hard to hold. Yep. You, you need a container for that. It's in my backpack. I'm not letting it out of my sight. So dense pack cellulose, it's a wood-based cellulose. I mean, papers made from wood chips, brought to mills. Uh, we saw an easy fit with that product. We have filled in, uh, we've lost some six paper mills, I think, in, in less than the last 10 years. And um, big shift in communities, uh, in the labor, in the workforce, in the small towns, in rural parts of the state and other parts of the country. Yep. Um, lots of interesting things about what's come about in Madison, Maine, uh, producing that, that wood fiber, and, and we'll be releasing that to the market in a matter of weeks at this point. We're waiting for some formalities to finish off. So the marketplace is used to uh, bad insulation that came in over time. Let's say it probably was like an R5 or an R8 fiberglass, and it progressed over time to be deeper and deeper because we realized the effectiveness wasn't there. But that product is still different than this because this is already being an offset of the, the, the process, right? So it's a repurposing. Exactly, exactly. But for our benefit, we'll never see it, right? It's gonna be inside of our walls, sure, on the outside sure. of our walls. What, what about the properties do you also like? Well, I mean, full cavity fill, the, the bat has some real nice structure. Um, it's, it's a rugged material. And I think that you get full cavity fill when you can actually get that material in there. It's not gonna slump, it's not gonna sag over time. Um, you know, the bi-component fibers that we add to that uh, create the loft and the structure, gets it that four per inch. Um, and I think there's some other properties about wood, especially when we get into the denser materials. And you start talking about um, uh, the, the lack of compression that you get. Uh, you get a reasonable R value. It's similar to mineral fiber. Uh, we'll land at a price point somewhere between an XPS board and a Rockwell board. That's amazing. Uh, huge carbon story when you talk about the embodied carbon, uh, the ability to sequester. We're taking a mat that's really big we're bringing that down in a continuous press until we get to the thicknesses that we need. This board gives us about a, a, an R5 per inch, an inch, uh, inch and a half or so. Uh, that meets code for continuous insulation in climate zones four, five, six. Um, with a cavity fill, you need a certain R value. We know about thermal bridging. You put uh, continuous exterior on there. But sometimes when you wrap things in plastic, they don't fare well tends to not go well with the leftovers in the fridge. Sometimes that's the breathing, right? Yeah, so we like the idea of vapor open assemblies. Might want to throttle down with the uh, uh, plywood or OSB and uh, add some more continuous on the exterior. We build with wood, we've done that for a long time. Yep. We can fill our cavities with wood, add a little borates for pest resistance or uh, moisture issues. If that does occur, you might get some mold growth in a wet cavity. Cellulose has done a really good job with that by adding borates over the years. Shuts down airflow because of the density. We get that with a cavity fill. We get it with a bat. Yep. But then when we're adding additional uh, insulation on the exterior behind the siding, allowing a little ventilation to keep the paint on the siding and uh, let the board uh, shed that moisture that it might build up and remains vapor open. Really you helpful. mentioned code. And, and that durability aspect. From the passive house world, we like the embodied energy and the operation energy as part of the inclusive conversation. Seldom does a product embrace both of those attributes. 
This is pretty awesome. So not only does it have that embodied carbon reduction because of the natural material, but that operational carbon is allowing the mechanical system to be sized at a smaller capacity so it's yes. delivering less so that we're comfortable. This is pretty remarkable yeah. in an insulation, right? Yeah. From cavity to board, um, there's a crowd behind us. Yeah. They're talking about the same thing we're talking about. Um, we're very thankful to Betsy and Joe. It's 25 years at Building Science. Jason and I, this is our first time. We hope that all of you embrace the type of materials that Timber HP is coming out with. You'll see more in the marketplace. If you're a consumer, reach out to your architect, reach out to your contractor. And if you're an architect or contractor, reach out to your consumer base. Say, hey, we have other options. I want you to learn about those options. I saw you a second I walked in. I love this story. Um, what are you most excited about? Well, you know, I, 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 so many things. It's, it's been a little overwhelming. Uh, I came into a startup company, uh, new insulation product, and really actually puzzled. Uh, like, you know, what is this stuff? And, you know, I came from the cellulose industry. I came from energy efficiency programs right. and that sort of thing. There's a 20-year track record in Europe. Uh, it's well established. You know, 25 years of uh, building science here in, at uh, Joe and Betsy's place. But for almost as long, there's been wood fiber manufactured overseas. And they're, they're locally based, so they have their territories. In North America, we have trust plants that have their territories. Yeah. And our insulation plants actually work along the same measure. But in Europe, this is a standard. Yeah, yeah it's uh, very common, well-received, additional properties about uh, heat delay, uh, carbon sequestration, all of these added benefits on top of just being a good insulator. And, you know, I think we need to find solutions. And in the built environment, as much as we can lock up when we start talking about carbon, uh, the better off we are. This can work in residential, this can work in multifamily. In cavities, we can fit in all building types. And uh, working hard on fire testing, one and two hour rated assemblies, uh, multi-story testing for the board product. So we can really get out there and be available to the, the standard operators out there in the world, plus all of those pioneers, those uh, visionaries that have been using this product for 10, 15 years, shipped over from Europe. We'll save them a little bit on the, uh, the diesel cost transporting material over and just take it from Maine. So 25 years ago, we didn't have this pretty much on the planet that we know of. We had logs. 25 years from now, we're gonna see these in every town from the top of Saskatchewan, probably all the way down to, uh, I don't know, the colder parts of upper New Mexico. Yeah. This is Jason Todd, this is Timber HP.